Wild one guys, it's your boy Jack, aka the Balding Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is a koi road trip to collect some uh, vats and drop some koi off, uh, and then also to head down to Northampton to collect 25 years worth of pond buddies. So let's go. Okay, so for those of you new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack. I am indeed the Balding Reefer, or should I say bald now? I specialize in tropical, cold water, pond and marine fish. This is the Koi Road Trip video. Uh, we've got Anson Jace with us today. You're not even hungover today, are you, mate? No. Firing on all cylinders. And then we've got Ben, AKA the Invisible Man. Now, <laughs> what he's done today, he's come prepared. So, do you wanna just show him how you come prepared, bro? Show him your invisible ones. Invisible ones. Show him, show him. Black, it disappears. Disappears. That's why we've had to get him to put a jumper on today because obviously last time we come down and see Mickey Boy, he had his uh, camouflage top on and nobody could see him. I could just see his floating head and obviously he was cut up and disappointed for days. But we're just about to get to Mickey Boy's now. We're going to offload these koi and show you guys his new pond that he's had done, which he took inspiration from the Balding Reef at, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, let me snap back to you in a second. Okay, so we've just got to Mickey Boys. I'm gonna leave the video link above for the last time we were here, because you guys were commenting then on how great the fish looks, how great the pond looked. But let me spin you around and show you this. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. So this here is his smaller pond uh, with his grow outs. He's got his own DIY spray bar across the back and his DIY spray bar across the back there, pounding in the oxygen, uh, six foot deep, dropping off to about four and a half foot deep as well. Here's the uh, high and the Kiatsuri that we brought down for him today. And he's got the Oasis Biotech 36 screen Matic on with a 20,000 litre pump. 20,000 litre pump, feeding everything in with the sieve. The easy clean sponges and the tools just there for those and then he's got some uh, deactivated zeolite in the side 110 watt uv onto the sieve so what the sieve's doing is as the water is coming through the sediment will sit on here and then the blade just there on the sides that's where it's knocking all this off like this here was actually on that a moment ago We'll keep this open so the next time that it actually uh, rolls over. He's got the very pump on there as well. Running at around 75% he said. And then the spray bar method at the back. He actually had a backy shower on the side but decided to take that off and just put the spray bar in. What pumps feed in the spray bar? Uh, 15,000. 15,000 feeding the spray bar. But look at his monsters. Happy as Larry. Looking absolutely incredible. I love it. Some people might not be fans of the jet with the water coming on. I personally love it. I like. I always like being able to hear the water next to the side of my pond. But wow, absolutely incredible. Look at the sheer size of these. Oh my word. So Michael's the, the gentleman that we've actually come down to collect the, um, all the pond equipment off. Literally two episodes of Pond Envy today on here. Just absolutely beautiful. Ball circling down there at the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see this as good as I can. I've just turned the air off. Yeah, no spot on. Yeah, bit. absolutely. Let me just, we'll uh, do a little shimmy round. <clears throat> the grass is absolutely massive. That, that's a mirror down there, it's huge. Is 
Is that the grass cut going about there, that big one? Yeah, grassy. These are all grass. Yeah. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of it. Not this one, the one below it. Oh. It is absolutely massive. Here he is coming back round now. Tell you what would be amazing here, underwater GoPro. Yeah. Stick your phone in. Look at Look at each hand. Look at that. Is that, that that's the big boy? Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. You need a dumper truck if you ever wanted to transport them, wouldn't you? Yeah. So how many surgeons have you got in here in total? Sorry? How many surgeons have you got in here in total? Um, there's three belugas, about six diamonds, about six Siberians, a couple of hybrids, two Stellatus. To be honest, I don't know exact numbers. Yeah. He's absolutely incredible. Wow, that was a brilliant shot. Oh my days. It's like monsters in the deep, isn't it? Yeah. That bruiser. That bruiser? Yeah. So does the tapping bring them to the top, does it? Yeah, it tends to. That's a hybrid. Cross between a diamond and Siberian. I know, it's a beluga. There's one up over the back there. How deep is the pond? It's uh, seven foot six. Seven foot six, wow. Yeah. The big fella. Well, he's not actually he's the big fella. No. That one that scares you is the big one. It's, it literally, his face just appeared there. <laughs> there he is. Nearly had me. There he is. There's Bruiser. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is like a bit of monsters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, see what I mean? You quit around there and they straight on you. Oh, my word. That's why I've got this for Oh yeah, I'm not surprised. Have you ever had any jumpers or anything like that? Yeah, Cruiser's been out twice. Before I put this up. Yeah. My daughter come and said, when are you fish her out the pond? I said, uh, she's one of the big ones. I thought, oh, really? Took two of us to lift him back in, wrapped, wrapped in his big towel. <laughs> Imagine if Bruiser had got out. He'd been out <clears throat> most of the night. He laid upside down for three days. Yeah. Recovering, I salted the pond, um, but he was all right. He was all right that time. Wow. Quit the size of him. Oh, my word! I would never be indoors if I had this outside. Thank you ever so much for letting us get on video. I cannot wait to get this online tonight. They've broken both my bottom grains. I'm well, not surprised. There, there's one. <laughs> I smash them up. I've got a diver in full sub aqua gear. We've got a ladder. He climbed down the ladder. He only got halfway down the ladder. Cruiser come along. Oh. Knocked him straight off the ladder. He's got Evo 110. Mega bead 650. Just there. And go into the Nexus. We say about take some filter in them, don't it? Yeah. You'll like this bit. Yeah, we have to step through this way. There we go. 
Ben's moving all the salt and stuff for us. Yes, not in person though. Yeah. This is my little water level device. Yeah. Works like a doorbell alarm. Yeah. When that float drops, sends connects the bell push. Yeah. And rings the bell in your bedroom to warn me that there's blockage. Ah, very clever. There's the drum in there. So how often does the drum turn? Um, 26 minutes since the last time it rotated. Did you plumb all this in yourself? Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. And then I can set that so that if it's gone 45 minutes, it doesn't wash it. Yeah. If it gets dirty before that, it'll automatically do it. Ah, right, okay. And then I can set the kind of wash as well so it can be like sort of two minutes. Yeah. automatic. Absolutely brilliant. That's it, you have to send me that. But I, I put that in because I was fed up cleaning the easy. Yeah. The easy was blocking up every day or so. Yeah. And it was a right pain. But guess what I did with the easy? Go on. It's like a, one of them bar. Filters on filters on filters. That's my Nitrotech, three chambered Vortex. Yeah. So I put the easy in there. Ah. And I run it with air. So I just adapted an air lift to come off the pump. So that sucked water through the K1. Yeah. Like a bio filter. Yeah. An extra filtration. And to clean it, I just literally turn the tap as I would normally. Yeah. That boils all that, and then I just empty the chamber. Oh, yeah, there you go. And flush all the waste away. Oh, that's incredible. So, that's where my easy sits now. Very clever indeed. I love it. Well, and you know what? I love the fact that you've done it yourself as well. I thought, you know, I might as well make use of it. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, sit in the garden, do nothing. Yeah. And I thought, ah, so I'll just cut the legs down, put some rubber feet on, modified the air lift, and that just runs with air, so it costs nothing to run. Yeah. So the water that comes in from the bottom drain, a lot of it goes through that, and it's, it's extra bio. Capacity. Yeah, no, absolutely. But no, absolutely incredible. Love it. Okay, so I know at the start of this video, uh, we did introduce it as uh, collecting um, a load of pond equipment um, off of a subscriber called Michael. However, after just seeing um, the sturgeon, or the giant sturgeon, should I say, uh, that you guys have just witnessed, I think it had been injustice to not only the first pond that we've seen, but also the second pond that we've seen as well. Obviously the first pond being my boy, Mickey Lawson. Second pond being obviously Michael's um, giant sturgeon, all of his filtration and stuff like that. I just wanted to keep this to a dedicated video. So next Sunday, that's or even possibly Tuesday. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want it next Sunday or this Tuesday coming? 
all of the equipment that we've actually collected because there was literally a three and a half ton Bedford box van full of stuff. And I, for one, am super, super excited to go through that on video with you guys. Huge, huge shout out to Michael. Massive, massive shout out as well to my boy, Mickey Lawson. Obviously, sorting this out with the Koi vat and also a gigantic filter as well, which is massively, massively going to come in handy. So let me know in the comment section down below. Going to draw the video to a close there, though. Uh, please make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on uh, social media. Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram is slightly different. That's at the.balding.reefer. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.